Jeff Johnson, Nested Knowledge, Quick Tip Tuesday. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite little robots. We call him Robo Pico. He's really just a, a machine learning algorithm that runs in the background. Um, but he, he uh, appears in a variety of different spots within Nested Knowledge. Uh, one of the main ways that people interact with Robo Pico is uh, in search exploration. So if you go to search exploration and you've got a search uh, that you that you've been exploring here, um, you'll see Robo Pico is run um, on the, the intersection of about a hundred studies, uh, basically um, with within that that search, and so you can see some of the some of the most common uh, population intervention outcomes, uh, and and you can kind of uh, click on those and you can explore them in a variety of different ways. The other way that people interact with RoboPico is in the abstract uh, or you know whatever screening process where you're going to see the abstract and you're going to see you know you got your your population uh, intervention and outcome uh, highlighting on uh, then you can kind of you can you can see what that all uh, looks like and what's being highlighted by that particular um, by, by the by the machine learning model that's running in the background on those studies. But there's one other place that I think a lot of people miss and actually sleep on and don't understand fully. Um, and that is that RoboPico can be run on all of the records in your nest and you can actually filter them. I'm of course talking about study inspectors. So if you filter to a, a particular set of um, um, studies, in this case, I've filtered to you know, uh, all the uploaded full text and the included full text here for the sake of this demo, you can actually then explore, you can hit explore and RoboPico is still available to you. And that's going to be obviously slightly different than what you originally saw um, in, in your initial search exploration, because now these records are included. We've got the full text and you're seeing, um, you know, uh, what, what, the, what the model is pulling out for you. And that can be another way to interact with your evidence. Catch you in the next one.